So in this episode, we decided to ride all the log flumes in Southern California, and about halfway through, we realized Jetstream exists at Six Flags Magic Mountain, and we did not make it there to ride that one. Plus, we knew that Splash Mountain was closed, so in the beginning, we trade that out with Jurassic World, even though Ricardo pointed it out later that that's a shoot the shoots, not a log flume, because in a log flume, the water rushes forward and propels the boat, in a shoot the shoots, this is a motorized propeller that pushes water that makes the boat go through, like Pirates of the Caribbean. So it really doesn't count, but I really don't care. All right, here comes the video. Okay, so we're gonna have to rate these things somehow. Uh, I suppose we'll be going off of three parameters. Um, theming. Um, is it an actual log flume? And uh, how steep is the drop? What happened? You're going to kill the dragon. You're going to get the dragon? Yeah. Go get it. You're not getting it. All right, we have arrived. Time to go see the dinosaurs? No. Well, just one time, though, for the video. No, it's one to go. Okay, well, I'm going to go, and you can come with me. No. Who's that? That's Hello Kitty. Yeah. yeah. Cast a spell on her real quick. Oh, you did it. It was a surprise spell. Now she's all surprised all day. Okay. Say bye, kitty. Bye, kitty. Now we say bye, bye, kitty. <gasps> watch out, Dracula's coming to get you. Behind you, watch out. Yeah. Are you giving high fives to Dracula? No? I am. You're gonna go give him a high five? But he's going away. He went away? No. Oh, he's going in the coffee shop. He's going into the coffee shop. Yes. Hey, look at it. There's a monster behind us. There is a monster right there. This place gets scary, scary at night. No. Nope. Look at that. I don't know. Go look. No. Go look. No. Look, you got a cab driver right here, look. Good morning, darling. Welcome to Hollywood. Enjoy the sunshine. Have a fabulous day. Where are you all from? Riverside. Riverside. Did you take a cab or did you drive? We drove. Next Maybe time, call Gabby Riverside. the cabby. I'll give you a good fare. Oh, so you've been here before? Welcome back. You all said you got your magic wand and you got your power up there. You used to be up in for some fun. Yeah. Have a wonderful day. All of you. Enjoy. Bye, you darling. Bye, Gabby. Adorable. So cute. Come on. See you on the highway of life. Okay. Enjoy the sunshine. Dad. Dad, look it. Who? Julian. Yeah, it's King Julian, Dad. Where? He's right there. He's the right theater. there doing his dancing. Are you going to dance with him? Go take a picture with King Julian, hurry! He's too scared of it. Yeah. He said, no thanks. Say, high five, King Julian. High five, King Julian. Great job, sweetie, great job. You don't like King Julian, Walter? You don't like King Julian, no? I do. All right, you do? Me too, he was fun, huh? Well, we gotta go into uh, Hogwarts and uh, go on the flight of the Hippogriff. Why wouldn't you do that? It'd be silly if you didn't. I need sunglasses. Here you go. So now I have no sunglasses, but that's okay, I got a hat. 
That's the original sunglasses. Wanna go see the yelling envelope? What? You wanna go see the yelling envelope? Remember the envelope comes, it yells? It says, I can't believe you're doing stuff. Yeah? Why? Right over here, remember? You saw it before with me. Let's go check it out, come on. Is it true you spent all your sickles on pigmy puffs when you were sent to buy pheasant feather squirrels at spring shops? I do hope your pigmy puff can write, young lady, as your father and I will not spend one more sickle on school meat supplies. <laughs> if anyone knows what that thing's called, let me know. Beware. Um, the forest and the grounds is forbidden to all students. I see what's he says this forest is forbidden to all students. Are you a student? No. We don't even go to this school, so who cares, right? No. Oh, bow your head. Bow your head, he says. Ah, we did it. And we're out of here. Are you ready? Because here we freaking go. <laughs> I love how they're always trying to deter you into going down there by showing you how little of wait times there are up here. Well, one thing that uh, the Universal Log Ride has against it is you gotta go down all these stairs. Tons of stairs, lots of walking. Um, that's gonna be a roller coaster. And it's gonna like make a loop around this. Well, not really like a loop, but you know, it looks cool still. Pretty excited for it. I wish it wasn't themed Fast and Furious. I mean, you guys got so many other great franchises. That would have been so much cooler. Uh -huh. Plus in the building where Conan was at and where the Creature from the Black Lagoon play was at and the stunt show, that's all gone. So, you know, what are you gonna do? It's uh, progress, people. Don't stand in the way, just enjoy it. Whoa, the uh, Universal Studios sign is gone. There used to be a giant neon sign. I sincerely hope the people at the Neon Museum got their hands on that before it just got ripped off the face of the mountain. Probably not though.
All right, so I guess it's uh, time to score Jurassic World the ride. Um, I would say for is it a log flume? I give it a three. It's not a log flume, more of a boat ride, but that's okay. Uh, theming gets a 10, and steepness of the drop gets a 10. So uh, overall score of uh, 23. So not too shabby for an attraction of this magnitude. Splash, baby! I think that even though this is a tiny step above, I think it's amazing because no other amusement park is doing it. When the Haunted Mansion closes, you don't get to play Haunted Mansion tic-tac-toe out front. Uh, when the Log Ride closes, you don't get to play Log Ride Limbo at Knott's. I mean, come on guys, get on it. All right, now to fill my curiosity. What happens if you use two lawns at once? <clears throat> what? Knott's Berry Farm. Does it let me go back? <clears throat> <clears throat> No, just a one-way ticket. And in a terrible spot. Why would this be the entry point? Now I have to walk like a mile to get into the park. Ugh. Okay, we made it, right, Walter? We made it? Ready to go ride the log ride? Okay, we're gonna go check out this. This is gonna be number two for today. Uh, we already did Jurassic World at Universal. This log ride will be the second, and then the third will be uh, Castle Parks. So let's get over there and check it out. And I just heard that today is the last day of Ghost Town Alive. So uh, let's go see a little bit of that before we take on this log ride. Come on. Oh. Where's that guy headed? Uh, let's follow him. I wonder what's in that box. Let's go try to find out what happened to Sheriff Wheeler, okay? Okay. All right, I got one question, because we've been looking around, and I want to know, where has Sheriff Wheeler been this whole time, and how has it not just been run amok madness? Oh, well, see, Sheriff Wheeler, he, he retired. Uh, got himself uh, uh, one of them uh, wooden uh, vessels, and now he's uh, somewhere uh, off the coast, I believe. Uh, probably three miles off the coast. You know where cows go on vacation? Where? Catalina. Oh, Catalina. No, and cattle. Cattle. Catalina. Yeah, oh. He's a, he's a cowboy. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So that's where Sheriff Wheeler is at. Looks like we're going to have to set off to the island of Catalina. You we going? I'm going. Let's go. Let's go on a carnival cruise. Yeah. <laughs> 
and I had no clue that it was going to be so emotional that people were going to be like crying and stuff because this was ending its final day and they've been here all summer every day and made friends with these people and you know I just I think that the story is so rich that it should be explained more too and you know when people that are so important like Sheriff Wheeler disappear it should be addressed and uh, I mean I don't know hopefully it's just like So it turns out uh, Sheriff Wheeler has retired. I guess him and Marshall Purdy must have uh, taken off over to the island of Catalina because they're cowboys, you know, like uh, we were just told. Uh, that is an interesting wrap-up to his story. I would have liked it a lot better if Knotts would have put a little bit of thought into that and uh, explained it. It was in a newspaper or something like that, but we really didn't get much at all, except the Doug. Hey, Doug, does that mention where Sheriff Wheeler ended up? No. And nothing was said about Sheriff Wheeler, right? You know that Sheriff Wheeler was all three of my children's sheriff growing up here at Knott's, and I mean, Walter may not even remember Sheriff Wheeler, you know, but... I will, and I'll remember Marshall Purdy and everybody that came along before that, and Everyone that will come along after, because it's a part of the not story. And that's what we're here for. No wonder this thing doesn't run. Someone left it on Prime for like 50 years and it's flooded. And don't forget when you're here at Knott's Berry Farm, as always, uh, throw your change in the fountain. It gets taken out and given to the Boys and Girls Club of Buena Park, and uh, they get to use it as a very hefty donation every year. I think almost three times a year, if I'm correct. Monkeys along for the ride. <laughs> How ridiculous. No. No. I think the feeling is tremendous on this one. I love it. Old school blood hurl stuff. And it has multiple drops. Does that count? No, because I guess you'd have to count the first one on Jurassic World if you counted this one, and we don't count that. Even though we agree, this one gets a little bit of extra points because the kids can fit on it. We're on a boat. We're on a boat. We're in a log. everywhere. There's not anywhere you can look that's not themed and we're going to get wet. Ah! <laughs> I still got wet. I like that. Okay, here comes a little speed. Are you ready for it? Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, what are we about to see right here? The backside of water? Yell backside of water when you see it. The backside of water. The backside of water. And now we get an interior drop. Uh oh. Uh oh. See, so that's extra points. First interior drop. Ah! <laughs> oh, Willow, you got wet. I got wet. I'm all wet. Why did we get so wet? It's dark in here. Here comes the wolf. Ah! Oh yeah. This is only the second one in the world. And it's this good and long. I wonder if Elisera Darrow's steeper. Probably not. It's probably the same steepness. I know this one's taller and way more themed. But most of this is thanks to Garner Holt. Castle 
Park Drop is steeper than this, but I don't know if it's taller. I think Castle Park may not even be. No, Castle Park's got to be taller. It's taller and steeper, maybe. All right. You're lucky my arm was there to catch you. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna, my shirt got all wet. Your shirt got all wet? My sock is all wet. And I'm wearing socks and sandals, so that's I got that happening. Okay, so the Knott's log ride gets a 10 for being an actual log ride. Uh, it's the second log ride that was built in the world. Uh, the first one was El Aceradero. Uh And let's say, Overall theming, it gets a 10. It's absolutely immaculate the way that this thing is themed. Steepness of the drop. Oh. I want to go six, but I think I'm going to give it a seven and a half. So, uh, 27 and a half is what the log ride at Knott's Berry Farm gets. Okay, so this time we're at Knott's Berry Farm so late that I don't think we're going to get to ride the log ride at Castle Park in the daylight. Um, they're open till 8, it says, so kids want to ride the Huff and Puff, you got to give them their Ed Roth, man. You got to do it. Give them a little Big Daddy when they want it. She says she wants to be in doing what you do when she grows up. <laughs> What do we got going on, Willow? My legs hurt, and I can't run fast. Your legs hurt, and you can't run fast. Are we gonna give up, or are we gonna do the rest of the challenge and go ride the log ride at Castle Park? Yeah, yeah I'm gonna go ride it. All right. Yeah, oh, you're gonna ride with me. All right. Let's fast forward down the 91 freeway right now. So Ryan's out of the log ride challenge on number three. She's not gonna get out of Castle Park and do it, but we're gonna go, right, Walter? Are we going? Are we gonna go, Willow? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on the log ride over here. Um, I couldn't even imagine if we had done jet stream and really done it, gone to Magic Mountain. Maybe one of these days, maybe when Tiana's opens, we'll have to go do all four log rides in Southern California. And if you know of another one that I don't know of, uh, let me know and we'll add that to the repertoire. But here we come, Castle Park. So we made it to Castle Park. Uh, the sun is setting and uh, the log ride is still operating. So let's jump on this one. And I think it's gonna take steepness. Uh, it's pretty steep. I mean, obviously it's not as steep as Jurassic World, but for a log flume, it's insanely steep. They have medieval themed pop music. I just heard girls just want to have fun like it was played at medieval times. <laughs> it's the best. We're going on the boats. All right. That should be about a side-by-side -side comparison of drops. I, I think this one's way steeper than knots. It's got to be, but... Check out that line. By the time we get through it, we're going on this at night. That's for sure. Oh, and in case you didn't know about uh, Castle Park, it's got all the same rides as Camp Snoopy, except uh, just the lines didn't come along, you know? Uh, oh yeah, and they also have the Tijuana taxis that used to be in Fiesta Village. <laughs> Okay, well, 
here we go. The third log ride today. I think we're gonna get wet. Oh yeah, totally. And through the kindness of a stranger, Walter gets to ride. I was like, I'll just do it, cause I was about to deal with her, but like, I can deal with you too. Yeah, yeah. No, it was cool that there was five of you guys. It worked out. Okay. Here we go. Hold on, baby. <laughs> oh, oh. I got wet. Are you wet? Yeah. Are you wet? I'm wet. <laughs> they definitely got more speed than knots. <laughs> I wonder what's faster, this or Jurassic Park? Eh, probably Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park and this are so fast. Here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm scared that I'm not dropping. I'm, I'm I've never been on it, but it's the right side. This was the world's steepest log ride. It's not anymore, of course. Maybe that was the late 80s. Nah, who could, who could remember? Who could remember at this age? No, I didn't like to go. You don't want to go? Well, it's too late now. But I'm tired, okay? We're all the way up here. How could we not go mommy. now? Can you can see mommy. mommy. She is, she's over there. Oh! Mommy. Mommy. oh, here comes this. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be no good. Uh -oh. This one is steep. We are ready. How steep is the drop? Like 45 degrees. 45 degrees. Are you okay? Are you okay, Walter? You okay? You guys slid up on that one. <laughs> I seen that. <laughs> we went a little forward. I like it. <laughs> we log rides one day. <laughs> you know we went to Universal Studios, Knott's Berry Farm, and here today and rode all three of the log rides. Well, we rode Jurassic World because Splash Mountain got open. What did you think? You like this one best? Or you like the Knott's one best? I like the Knott's one. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, once I found out one of the attractions at Castle Park is actually from Coney Island, I kinda lost track of what I was doing. But uh, we'll just give Sawmill Plunge its rating right now. So I give it a 10 for being an actual log flume, cause it truly is. Uh, I'm gonna have to give it a four and a half on theming. Uh, sawmill Plunge, I get the plunge part, but I didn't see a sawmill. Uh, I, ju I mean, I would have liked to have seen a, like a couple of saw blades around somewhere or something like an old band saw or some cut in half logs uh, would have been nice. And uh, steepness of the drop, though, you guys killed because I gave you a nine. So uh, that's going to be a grand total of 23 and a half. Uh, not too shabby for a... Uh, you guys consider them a regional park? They're a community park. Yeah. They're a community park. It's holding their own. Well, we can't make it to Coney Island, but at least we can go on one of the rides. They're making an oval shape. 
If you look at the wear in the metal, this spot right here makes it very evident. And as a surprise, we're gonna do a nighttime ride on the Tijuana taxis, because we're here. Oh, how fun! Wee, Walter! Oh, Walter, that you're doing such a good job driving this. Whoa, flashing lights! Why are there lights flashing at us? Why could there be lights? I think someone's coming behind us in a cop car. Watch out, Walter, there's a cop car coming. Drive good, drive good. No, good, no, drive good, stop swerving. Stop swerving, we're gonna get busted by this copper. Hey, I see you, you're the cops. We're out of here. We're out of here, the cops are coming. Let's go, Walter. Drive good, the cops are coming. No, good, not swerving. Drive straight. Okay, here, I'll, I got it. Okay, um, 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 all right, I got it. I got it, we're out of here. Ah, scary pumpkins! Ah! Did you see the scary pumpkins? There goes the cops again! We're out of here! Here we go! Okay, so I guess uh, we're gonna go on one more ride here at Castle Park, and then we're gonna head home. Oh, here we go. No, I wanna film you guys go on it. three rides. We went on four already, actually. No, we went on four rides, and this is the end of it. This is our fourth ride, and we already rode it twice. Willow? Three more.
more, maybe one more. Maybe one more. How about we go on the airplane because we missed the camp bus? Yeah? And then you want to play a game? We'll play a game next time, okay? Right now? No, not right now. The ride is slowly coming to an end. We well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Uh, three log flumes in one day. Well, three amusement parks at least. Uh, if you like this longer format, let me know. Uh, we'll keep these type of videos coming, but the next one will definitely be in all about an attraction. Probably at Knott's. Maybe at another amusement park. Maybe even at a museum. Who could say? Thanks for watching. Uh, I truly enjoyed making this. Hopefully as much as you enjoyed watching it. And I'll see you in the next video.